afternoon youtube land i hope all is well with everyone this is your girl spreshy black coming to youtube land with a collective message um today is december the 21st i hope everyone is feeling that good energy that has been brought to us with these um planets conjunctioning and everything now i am i don't really know how to put this out here but what i wanted to say was I would like to bring more content to my platform. So by starting out today, I am going to start to make Mondays, me, me Mondays. Okay. So how it will go is I will, um, I'm trying to get more content, um, more people on my page. You know what I'm saying? On my channel. I apologize. But, um, just trying to get more ideas of about Mimi Mondays. So basically how it will go, I will choose either, um, cause you know, everybody's on Facebook, everybody has a social media page. So I'm pretty sure everybody knows what Mimi's is. So Mimi Mondays is going to be, um, I guess you could say like motivational Mondays. Like I want to put it out there to, anybody where I could do a reading but not not so much of readings but I also want my channel to because it had started off as it was going to be a motivational uh channel but I've gotten into turret I've been on my spiritual journey and I'm just I feel like I have so many ideals that it needs to just everything needs to come out okay so this is a collective reading this is for anybody and their mama that want to watch it um like I said it'll be about me me Monday so I will pick a Mimi or a quote of the day. I will um, discuss it, you know, like how it means to you, how it would mean, how it means to me personally. Um, and then I will sum it up with some advice cards, okay, for the collective. So December 21st, um, today's Monday, 2020. Um, the first Mimi or the quote of the day that I would like to talk about personally, okay, taking my kindness for weakness okay i will name this video mimi mondays and i will also put the quote of it as taking my kindness for weakness because i want to you know i'm trying to bring in more people you know to make understand so we're going to talk about what taking my kindness for weakness is now when I talk about these memes we don't want to look at it as a negative thing because this is motivational mondays OK, and one thing I could say about taking my kindness for weakness is it's not really more as motivational, but it's more as like ways to figure out like your trigger moments, ways to figure out like why you continue to like mess with certain people, because I'm learning this about myself and like. I didn't know, you know what I'm saying? Like my kindness has really been taken for weakness. Like people have looked at me as like the things that I did for them um, from my past, even from now, you know, like you have a lot of low vibrational people that loves to pick at people's energies, love to um, perpetrate a fraud. Let's put it like that. So when it comes to taking our kindness for weakness our kindness is so pure you know we sometimes we don't even know that it's our kindness sometimes we don't even know that we do things from the kindness of our heart it's just it happens because I've learned that me being the empath it naturally flows through me to want to do good towards people like people don't have to do I mean people don't have to do wrong to me I don't have to know a person from Adam to Eve to just want to do something right for them you know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's just in me. And when you have people that is low vibrational, and this is for people really that is like starting out on their spiritual journeys and everything, like, because I want people to know, you know, what I didn't know and all the self lessons that I had to go through. Like, if I can like help people avoid that shit, you know what I'm saying? By y'all just listening, having an open ear and just, just listen. It will take you so far. And maybe I didn't listen. You know what I'm saying? So that's what had led me to this point in my life. But um, we should not let people take our kindness for weakness at the end of the day. We we <clears throat> should learn. And what I've had to learn personally 
was we have to make boundaries with people. We have to put standards in between relationships with people because people will take advantage of your kindness and they will label it as you being weak. That's what I've gotten from that quote. Like you can be so nice to somebody. They don't have to return the favor. Like you say, you being the person that you are, you're just naturally, you, you're natural, a natural nurturer. I guess you want to say like, you don't look at it as, oh, um, if I do this for this person, it's going to come back for me. No, you just naturally just do shit for people because that's just who you are as a person. Now, when it comes to them, we have to set those boundaries and standards where they don't even know it. And because it gets to a point where if you allow a person to continuously do the things that they want to do to you, they got your power. And I've had to learn that. Like if you allow a person to let you, let them get under your skin, you allow a person to continuously use you and we talking about mentally, we talking about sexually, we talking about energetically, we talking about spiritually, financially. There's people out here that you know would take anything from you in the midst of you they know you worked hard for it. They know that you blessed at the end of the day. I apologize. I heard somebody outside. They know that you're blessed at the end of the day. And I've learned when you are blessed and when you have a lot of light within you, when you're trying to do right for others and for yourself, it's like, it's like your spirit is an open portal to darkness, to demons and shit. Like, I don't want to make it seem like that. But what I'm trying to say is you having that kind of heart and everything, it's like your portal is open to darkness. It's open to fucked up people. It's open to people that think they can take your kindness for weakness. And what I've learned is like being on the spiritual realm, that's just like being a Christian, whatever anybody else believe. Once you tap into the knowing of who you really are, baby. That portal don't mean shit. I don't give a damn how many dark people can come. Like, bring it. You know what I'm saying? Bring all that shit. But at the same time, you make sure you take it back with you when I uh show your ass the door. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you make sure you don't leave none of that hurt. Take all of that shit with you. Taking my kindness for weakness. You are an open portal when you are an empath. <clears throat> when you do kindness from your heart and you don't think twice about it. Okay? This is your girl Spiritual Black coming to YouTube land with a collective message for the collectives and their mamas. Anybody that would like to watch this video. Like I said, I'm starting a new content with Me Me Mondays. Um, the first content that I had today was taking my kindness for weakness. And I'm like, this is, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to upload this video just to see how it goes, how many views and stuff I get. But this is the first one that I'm going to, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a take it as like the motivational part is of taking my kindness for weakness. Um, the advice that I want to say to y'all is setting boundaries and standards for people that they feel that, I mean, because it's easy said and done to cut people off, right? Cool. But what if they're your family members? Like, I mean, hell, it could be your kids. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, yeah, it's easy said and done to just leave people alone, but it's kind of hard to do that. So let's be realistic. You know what I'm saying? And hell, maybe this is something that everybody needs to do before you cut that person off, just to see if they respect your boundaries and your standards, because you've already allowed them to take your kindness for weakness. And we've all fallen short. We all do it. But somewhere down the line, they're going to come back around and they're going to think they can do that same stupid shit to you. Now, it's time for you to have your standards and your boundaries put up upon that person, situation, job, whatever it is. Take what resonates. That's the advice that I have for the Mimi of taking my kindness for weakness. Making sure that you have standards and boundaries when it comes to this person, place, thing, um, anything that you feel has taken advantage of you, of your goodwill. 
because we don't have to go for that shit. It's getting ready to be 2021. And what I've learned with everybody's like, oh, well, how about December the 30th, 2020? If I'm not, you know, good or there's still bad blood or whatever, just stay there. No. No, I'm not going to put no date on it anymore. I think I probably, I I felt like I did that some months ago. Like either y'all with me or y'all not with me. We shouldn't have to wait until December the 30th to decide if we want that person or we decide to have a conversation. We're grown. We should be able to all just sit around and laugh about shit that upset us to the to the most. Well, we could have just talked about this shit, right? Let me get some advice cards for the collective when it comes to taking my kindness for weakness with the mermaid deck. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment <clears throat> if the content fits for you. Okay, this is your girl Spiritual Black coming to YouTube land with a Mimi Monday. Taking my kindness for weakness for mermaids. For the collective, what advice do you have for them? What advice do you have for them? We already know putting those standards and those boundaries up because people... You know, you say you let them get you let them get away with it. Maybe maybe one or two times. I wouldn't even say I wouldn't even say two. But it's all about being woke and understanding for the collective. Advice cards you have for the collective mermaids. Advice cards you have for the collectives. I was procrastinating on putting this out, but I can't keep doing it. I have things I got to do. I can't keep being afraid. I can't. So if this resonates with you, if you like what I'm doing, I also ask for more ideas as well. How about um, y'all give me comment some, um, comment some ideas for your girl. What's the memes that y'all like that y'all would want me to talk about? Put them in the comment section. Email them to me if you, you know, shy and you don't want your name and stuff all on a YouTube channel. What is some advice for the collective when it comes to... Ooh, that makes sense, too. Hmm. Standards and boundaries for your collective. <laughs> Let me get one more card. Because I didn't want to make these videos. They're not going to be long. Okay. So, Mermaid Spirit. For the collective. Three advice cards that you guys have is waiting. So, you guys are in the process. Maybe this is what's going on now. Or what's this is getting ready to come about. But, um... I wouldn't really look at it as this, this as being an advice, but when it comes to someone taking your kindness uh, for weakness, remember what I just heard and said, like, let them, let them, what is that I'm trying to say? Let them hang themselves one more time. Let them hang themselves one more time. And then that's when I'm standards. I mean, regardless, you don't have to do anything. You feel me? You ain't got to wait. You ain't got to do nothing. But I, I feel like Mermaid Spirit is saying to y'all, watch watch and see. Let them hang, them hang themselves one more time. And the standards and the boundaries that you bring upon, you wait and see. You wait and see what's getting ready to come about. Because I guarantee you, I guarantee you who's ever took an advantage, who's ever thought they, they blah, who's ever thought that they've gotten away with taking advantage, they will be back. I didn't even read it. Contentment. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is a contentment card. So you guys are needing to be content in something. Collective. Contentment. Oh, it brought me right to it. Count your blessings. You guys are needing to count your blessings to stay in a place of contentment. Feeling content is a wonderful feeling. Enjoy this time, dear friend. You've earned it. Mm. So this could probably then, you know, some dark days for you guys, for the collective. But the mermaid spirit is telling y'all that y'all need to count y'all blessings at the end of the day. 
And maybe with this waiting card now that I've read upon it, you know what I'm saying? Um, there's some blessings that's getting ready to come about. But maybe you guys are needing to set standards and boundaries. You know what I'm saying? Take what resonates, okay? Then you guys have the Be Spontaneous card. So Mermaids is spelled... La -la. Mermaids is telling the collective that you guys are needing to be spontaneous. So maybe you guys have been like really icky lately like you guys know what icky means right like as far as like not feeling yourselves like probably feeling down um stuck up you know like uptight you know what i'm saying wanting to do everything in order you know the mermaid spirit is telling the collective for you guys to be spontaneous let down your hair a little bit breathe go outside of nature smell the roses do some things that make you happy. Because if you don't, you're taking advantage of your own happiness. Do you not understand that? Do you guys have your superpowers, what you guys was talking about? Okay? Because I know I definitely woke up feeling mine. Hey, went to sleep on the bullshit. Woke up feeling even better. Okay? Hey. This is your girl, Spreshy Black, coming to YouTube land with the collective messages for the collective. Okay? Taking my kindness for weakness. Back to what I was saying. Do not let nobody do that to you. Whenever it comes time, pick those standards and those boundaries up. Write those bitches out if you got to. Glue them to a board or something just so you won't forget it. Hell, Snapchat it. I don't know what you guys need to do when it comes to you guys remembering it. Y'all all have a certain way of how y'all do it. But, hey, let that shit go. Either let it go or set y'all some standards and some boundaries.